Hello, I'm Mel, and welcome to My Little Corner of the Internet. And today, we're doing art pet peeves again. Art pet peeves, while annoying, are only wrong when crossing a legal and moral boundary. So please note that while this video is for entertainment purposes, it isn't meant as an attack. Be respectful, and let's delve in. I cannot stand when people hang over me while I'm sketching. The little comments like, why is she bald? Did you draw that? Why is she naked? I'm not done. These are always immediately followed by, can you draw me? And I just, I foam at the mouth a little bit. I used to not mind these at all or would only get a little annoyed. But as a few times turned into thousands of times, you begin to lose your mind a little bit. If someone's art is currently being worked on, mayhaps don't breathe down their neck. And if you'd like artwork done for you, pay the artist. I don't work for free, and I get so tilted when I am pushed to do it. There are always strangers as well. Get away from me. Drop shipped art, pins, or merch. Drop shippers always kind of bug me, but I hate, hate, hate going to cons or shows just to see artists that I follow or know having their art yoinked or shoddily traced over and thrown onto a pin or a shirt. Sometimes, they won't even make an effort to trace. They'll just take well-done art, throw it onto some merch, and sell it. If you do this, you're a horrible person and I don't like you. It takes away from artists' hard work, and it's just blatant theft. I can't believe it's such a huge issue amongst art conventions and shows. This one might be a bit of a hot take, but I dislike the big, strong, very bulked-out man trope being gender-bent to the most small, basic hourglass femme. There will be little to no personality, no indication it's even remotely the same character, and a lot of times it just exists to have another pretty girl to pass around and make R34 of. If you enjoy this, that's fine, but I just can't bring myself to. I want to see fun gender bends that still hold the personality of the OG character. Make her strong, give her life back, or include a nod to the OG outfit. Keep the character's scars and birthmarks as well. I don't mind if people struggle drawing mass characters so they opt to make them femme. I just want to be able to tell that it's the same character and not a girl who was nagged off of a prawn site. Personally, of course, what you like is what you like. I just really don't enjoy it. It grinds a very primordial gear in me that makes my elder tour come out a little bit. I hate when people will degrade or correct art without any request for them to do so. I have had and seen one too many artists and non-artists run into someone's comment section just to berate the art and offer no actual advice, or just give a bunch of pointers with no reason to do so. If the artist isn't asking for a critique, don't give them one. Some people just want to draw, and improving isn't their main goal. Leave them be. You do not dictate if they do or don't want to improve. If they don't want to have good hands or change how they draw eyes, it isn't your place to tell them they're wrong. You're entitled to not enjoy it. That's not the issue here. The only issue lies in the fact some folk just can't scroll and keep their opinions to themselves. It truly isn't hard. I'm tired of seeing people trash on self-inserts and really bulked out or cringe character designs. You're not an art saint, and I promise if we dug far enough into your art, you've done similar things. Let people have fun with what they create. There's no reason to openly treat cringe art as if it's the worst possible thing. Art is all about the experience and expression. To sit and pretend you have any sway or dictatorship over what is and isn't good expression is just an insane notion to me. Show me your Alcor and Neon DJ Pony Princess OC. Show me Jack, who has a million scars and the most tragic backstory of all time. I don't care if him being a half-demon, half-angel is overdone. I love it and I want to see it. I'm here for it. Your art is for you, and no one else should ever have to have a say in it, as long as it's legal, of course. Before we hit the next group, please check out all my links in the description. I've recently opened up rigged PNG tubercoms and have a Halloween discount up and running for a limited amount of time. While you're down there, join my Discord server. Alright, let's get back into it. Artists, more now than ever, need to stick together and work as a community to ensure we are doing the best we can for ourselves. This is a tad hard though when we have folk fighting us from the inside. Nothing irks me more than stories coming out about artists commissioning one another or participating in art trades just to walk away pocketing the art or the money without ever fulfilling their end of the deal. 
Artists have to deal with the ever-looming threat of AI, the difficulty of industry jobs, high competition rates, and so much more. So the fact there are folks willing to throw another artist under the bus for a quick payoff baffles me. Of course, this practice is garbage regardless of your status as an artist or a non-artist. I personally feel extra irritated when specifically artists do it because of the fact that they know how unforgiving and volatile this community is, and rather than assist in its betterment, they choose to aid in its toxicity. Please, for all things good, don't ever be this person. It's sneaky, underhanded, and it pisses me off a lot. I specifically want to target the recent scam AI artists rather than AI art itself. Stealing or commissioning artists for sketches just to plug them into a program to fully render or post and pass them off as your own is insane. I myself have had a few AI bros run to my DMs begging for me to accept their commission despite the fact they openly admitted to their intentions. I'm just so flabbergasted at humanity's ability to disconnect and justify themselves to such delusional degrees. I'd give a comparison, but we all know that those don't work. It's just theft, and you're raking artists through the mud, and I can't stand this. I love my community, so this pet peeve causes me genuine rage. Art is a luxury product. It isn't a need. It's not something you will die or have a lesser life without. With that said, trying to get an artist to lower prices or berate them because you personally wouldn't pay reeks of entitlement. If you wouldn't pay for it, there's a simple solution. Don't. Someone else will. And no one cares what you think the price should be. Not a single person. Art is work. Art is time. And I know it's a shock to some, but art is a job. Would you walk into a store and demand that the clerk cut their pay in half because you feel they're not working hard? No, and if you would, you're just a jackass. Artists don't owe you affordable prices, and they don't owe you an explanation for why their prices are the way they are. You just have to accept it. Your personal entitlement isn't the problem of anyone but yourself. So please, please just scroll and leave people to their work. They're making their bank. We all know Pick Me Girls, but I raise you Pick Me Artists. Pick Me Artists are artists who will promote into your promotions or streams without permission. They'll whine and whine just to fish for compliments rather than from an actual place of insecurity. They'll make an effort to snag clientele away from you, give advice you don't want, bash your art to uplift theirs, and typically will share traits of the typical pick me, also known as sexism, being weird with people they have no business being weird with, all while putting you down. These kinds of people bring out a violent trait that I didn't think I had. I already really don't like pick me girls, but to add the artist in it? Now you're targeting my livelihood and I am mad. I have had multiple run-ins with artists like this, and they would thrive off making sure that I knew that they were so much better than I was. Total headache. People like this tend to be very drama-oriented as well, constantly dragging you into some new art lore and making sure that you know about all the dumbest, most nothing burger posts they decide to froth over that day. If you meet an artist like this, run. Don't get me wrong, I'd love a good blacklist. Yes, give me a list of people who charge back, steal art, send inappropriate imagery, and so forth. If someone was awful to you, I am sorry. But if they weren't a criminal or some sort of abusive, I don't want to see your petty drama land someone on a blacklist. We have no business knowing if we weren't involved, and frankly, I don't care if two people shared a few word blows if nothing innately disgusting unfolded. I especially don't care if it didn't happen in an art community. Why are you blacklisting someone from artists when there's no real reason to? Everyone has scuffs. There's always going to be a falling out with a friend. That's just unhinged and chronically online. I try to be very empathetic to most situations like this, but actions like this typically rob the artist from work they could have been paid for, and for no real tangible reason. People can be crap. That's super real. Sometimes you have really aggressive falling outs, but again, if it isn't something that would need to be brought to court or have someone placed far away from you, do not make it a community and artist-based problem. It's lame. Please stop doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that this is a new re-upload and I ask that everybody respects me and that no harassment is incited. I hope you guys enjoyed 
and I hope that you have a wonderful day.